I'm A. And I'm B. And we're the Craft Family. Family. Today we're going to be making churros, but not just any churros. We're making Disney parks. They released them early on in the quarantine just so families could have some fun things to do together. We've actually never made this recipe before. It just came out. Um, but we have made donuts. We think we're pretty well prepared to give it a try. Um, so if you want to get the recipe, it's on the Disney Parks blog right now. It seems like it's pretty straightforward. For it, you're going to need one cup of water, some eight butter. tablespoons of butter, that's one stick, a half teaspoon of salt, three-fourths teaspoon of ground cinnamon, uh, one and one fourth cups of all-purpose flour, three eggs, which I'm going to grab, um, and one and a half cups of vegetable oil and a half cup of sugar. So stay tuned. Yeah. And we're also making a syrup to go with it. Yep. Uh, chocolate. chocolate fudge. We told you the ingredients. Uh, the instructions are combined water, butter, salt, and one fourth teaspoon cinnamon in a one and one half quart saucepan over medium heat. Bring pot to boil and boil, to roll and boil. Okay, so what are you gonna do first? Um, combine water, butter, salt. Okay, where? Uh, in the saucepan. Okay, let's do it. And that's not so, all. We already pre-measured some of the ingredients to make it easier. So Please. first, you put the water in. And now you can turn on the stove. You're gonna, I'm just gonna wait till I put all of these okay. ingredients. Just the, now the butter. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Great. Right. And what else? Uh, ingredients. It says we need one fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay. So the. You actually are going to use a little bit less because we're using salted butter, and I think the recipe said unsalted butter, okay, that you have right there. I have there. no idea what I'm doing. So you're going to need a fourth cup, a fourth teaspoon, I mean, but we're going to do a little less because the butter salted, so that's probably good. Okay, that's great. I'm going to put that in. Thumbs on the table. Okay, well, that's all right. What else do you need to put in there? What's next? One and fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Oh. You want to try to make it as level as you can. That's which. What's that? A fourth? Almost. Okay. Just a little bit more. Perfect. Right. Okay. And then how much more do you need to put in there? It's just uh and one fourth teaspoon. Of salt. Okay. Uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so now you need to turn the sauce up to a medium heat. This one? Yep, push it in and turn. Other way. There you go. Now it's lit. Turn it to medium. So other way. Other way. This way? Yep. Down a little bit. Okay, that's a little high still. Turn it down a little bit more. Okay, there you go. That's a nice medium heat. So now you need something to stir with. So what are you going to pick? Hmm. I would probably pick one of the spatulas. Yeah. That's a good stirring tool. Yep. Good job. Should I still just stir it? Yep. So now it says to bring Take it to. Butter? Yep. It's going to need. It's, I set the butter out earlier so that it would be room temperature. Um, but you're probably going to need to let it melt a little bit before you can really break it, break it apart. Come on, Minnie Craft. Come over here. Yep. Yep. You're walking forwards. You're walking forwards. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, it looks like it's boiling. Oh, but it's not. Starting. So that's a rolling boil. So that's great. Perfect. So what does it say to do when it gets to a rolling boil? Ready's heat to low. Okay, so turn it down as low as it'll go. That's this way. Yes, which way? So now it's down all the way to very low. Ready's to heat to low. Just okay. Add flour and stir vigorously until mix forms a ball. Remove heat and let rest for five to seven minutes. Okay, so, so now we need to add the flour. So you got to get a measuring cup. Okay, I got um, one cup and one fourth cup. Okay, and here's the flour. Can I put them in the sink or are we going to just... I don't know if we'll need them again, so... All right, put so them first, on top of the salt. 
first we're gonna measure out the one cup, right? I guess. I guess so. A little trick that I use to help him sometimes yeah. is because it's a little harder for him to do the full cup. Yeah. Because I just use the smaller one and help him scoop. It's not the best way to measure flour, but yeah. it'll do the trick. Flatten it down. No, we don't want to make it flat. The best way to measure flour is with as much fluff as possible, so that's good. Okay, and we're going to stir that in. Stir vigorously, it says, right? Yeah. So while you measure out the other one, I'll just stir for you. Okay? Now, Justy. Now you're going to need to add one-fourth cup of flour. Another fourth? One-fourth cup? One-fourth cup. So now it really looks like porridge. Yeah, it looks, it looks kind of like apple something, like apple pie, apple mm -hmm. sauce, I guess. Mm -hmm. It says it should form a ball. Mm -hmm. Should I try to be forming it into a ball or will it naturally? If you stir it, it should start to kind of form like a ball. Here, let mommy do a little bit, okay? Yeah, it's hard. Okay, we stirred vigorously until it formed a ball and we have a pretty much perfect ball now. And I think the next step is going to be to remove it from the heat. Yeah. So show them the ball. Here's what the ball will look like. Can you take the camera? From the heat. Can you yeah. take the camera back? Remove it from the heat. Okay. Watch the bubs. Now you have to let it rest for five to seven minutes. Alexa, set a timer for seven minutes. Seven minutes. Yeah. So we got a ball. We got and our eggs here so that it can get closer to the room temperature. Took them out a while ago. Crack. We're gonna mix them in. Okay, so now that the dough has had a chance to cool, we're gonna add three eggs one at a time. Okay, this is one. This will be a shell right there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stir in that one egg. Stir, stir, stir. Can you see this? Yep. This is what it looks like. Ready for the next egg? All right, so now I'm ready to put in the third egg. Can I try mixing? Mm -hmm. Sure. Can I stop it so you can stop yeah. it? Yeah. You know what, just do the SpongeBob stuff. Five hours later. All right, so we've stirred in all three eggs, and this is what it looks like. The recipe says now to set this aside, so we're gonna do just that. Okay, so now we're going to put one and a half cups of vegetable, vegetable or canola oil. We have vegetable oil. Over medium high heat or until it reaches until temperature reaches 350 degrees. Just medium? That's low, so you can turn it up a little more. That's good. Okay, so now we're waiting for the oil to get up to 350. So it's going to take a little bit of time for both the skillet and the oil to reach the right temperature. So while we wait, we'll just, uh, so let's see where we're at. It was past where we need it, so. So we've got to let it cool down a little. So I just um, turned the fire down a little bit. It's at 350 right now, but it's climbing. Okay. Perfect. So it's just pretty much perfect right now. Okay. It's, it's actually at, at 360 right now. So we're just going to let it cool down. And it looks like it's going to stay there, so I turned it down a little bit so that the temperature would drop. To 10, ten more degrees. Okay, so now we're making the uh, sugar and cinnamon that goes on the outside of the churros. You're going to need one half cup of sugar. This time can I flatten the sugar since it's actually sugar? Yeah, that should be good. How much cinnamon, babe? Half, half a teaspoon. Oh. <laughs> Can be a little cinnamony, but that's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Yeah. Remember what I was saying about um. I saved a little bit. Yeah. I didn't put it all in. Okay. That's why I was saying not to measure over your thing. All right. So now you need to grab a whisk. You can close that drawer for me. All right. Go ahead. It's okay. Just go. Just stir your cinnamon and sugar, please. Okay. Ready? We're gonna try these before we do the rest. This looks amazing. Right, Mom? <laughs> you want to? Yes, I want to try these before. So that way we know if we like this. They look amazing. First mm -hmm. of all. Yes. They look like yeah. mini waffles. Yeah, they look really good. Just making some more of the shoestring curls. So you just squeeze it and chop it with some scissors. What Disney said to do, and it seems like that is the best way to do it. Yeah. All right. So she these are, because they're shoestring, they're actually frying up super quickly, which is so, great. So you don't like, really they need look to like keep chicken them nuggets in. and French fries. Yeah, you don't really need to keep them in very long. Do those not look like chicken nuggets and French fries? Pretty awesome. This recipe was really good. Yeah. We sampled a few as we usually do. We sample everything. Um, what do you have to say about this recipe? I thought it was pretty easy. Yeah, and, pretty um, quick. Yeah, pretty quick. And even though we had to improvise with the piping straw that I It's still... Yeah, it came out. They taste well. the same. They taste, the they taste yeah. better than New York. <laughs> we had churros in New York. And nice. they were really good. Yeah. They got a good chocolate sauce. But these are even better. So after I make up all the churros and we put cinnamon on them, I'm going to take a quick chocolate sauce. Okay, so we're done frying our churro bites. We decided only to do about half of the dough. We're gonna for put today. up the rest tomorrow for the in the fridge for tomorrow, and we'll let you know how that comes out as well. So we can try to save some churros. Yep. So this is our uh, shoestring churros that we made, and then we tried to make a few fun ones that looked like chicken nuggets, just to so see. So we call them chicken. We nugget call them chicken nugget churros, just because we thought it would be fun. So now Eden's gonna toss them in the cinnamon and sugar mixture that we made. So he's just gonna dump them right in there. Yep. Go ahead. Ooh. One missed. Yep, yeah, right in there. Okay, and now we're gonna just shake it and toss it out. Okay, can you go? I guess. Yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so you can, can actually use this. Use the, you can use the tongs to flip it, flip yep. it now because I don't need them anymore. Yep. There you go. For some reason, I keep not touching the side. Like, I forget this isn't on the stove. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, be careful. <laughs> hey, now I gotta toss them again. Okay. All right. okay, so we're done tossing the churros, so we're gonna show you how to make a nice chocolate sauce to go with it. It's okay, so now we're going to make a chocolate dipping sauce that you could probably make in a quarantine. <laughs> what are you gonna put in it? Half and half. Okay, we're doing a half cup of half and half. Half cup of half and half. Wow, that's a lot of half. Mm -hmm. You can use cream if you have cream. We don't, so quarantine life. Um, and then you're going to do about a tablespoon of butter. I'm just eyeballing here. I'm going to take some butter. A little bit of butter makes everything better. That's right. And then we're going to put some chocolate chips. Chocolate We have semi-sweet. That's our favorite kind. Um, I recommend to do semi-sweet because... The churros already have sugar on them, so you don't want something super sweet like a regular milk chocolate or something like that. Yeah. You can even do bittersweet if that's your preference. I know people like that sometimes. And again, I'm just going to eyeball the chocolate chips. Um, that's good. Did you turn on the stove? Oh, let's turn on the stove. I don't know what I should turn it. Uh, you can turn it on to a medium low. Okay. Wait, which one is this? Is it the right one? There you yep. go. All right, so now we're just going to stir this until it all melts together and starts to thicken up. 
Okay, that's gonna be lower. No, that's too low. This no, that's perfect. So good. Perfect? Yeah, that's fine. No, I had more. I had it or it was literally no fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna stir, stir, stir until this chocolate melts. We're gonna use that magic bed. Yeah, let's okay. use the magic bed. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. So you still, you can see the chips have melted into the milk. And you can it's see the there's still a tiny bit of butter left, so we're just going to keep stirring until all that butter is melted. It's almost melted. Okay. Um, we're going to turn this down a little bit because it's starting to bubble and we don't necessarily want it to bubble. Okay. We don't want it to burn or anything like that. Okay. Just mix out that butter. Okay. It's ready. There you go. we got our chocolate sauce. So I'm going to pour some can out Can I turn now. this off? Yep, you can turn that off. I'm going to pour some out for us to dip our churros in. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to try the first churro that will be dipped in our chocolate sauce. I'll try this one. Bum, bum. Moment of truth. Mm -hmm. What was that face saying? Then? Did okay? Amazing. All right. More, more, more. Give me more. <laughs> All right, we're going to go enjoy our churros. Thanks for watching. Bye.